You're right. It is a general store and a museum. Right? Yep. They open. Fourth. Yeah. Jerry. Hello. Sorry, we're not we're not open right now. <laughs> it's Danielle hey, hey. and Mike. How you doing? You oh, talked to Danny on the phone? Hi. I talked to you on the phone. Where How are you? Nice to hey, meet how's you. How's it going, man? How are you doing? Is this the general store side or the antique shop this side? This was the antique side. The other side is the museum side. We bought it about 30 years ago. Oh, wow. You moved everything here 30 years ago. Yes. Because Danny said you guys had another it location. It was downstate, yeah. Would you be interested in selling those cabinets or no? Well, you know, it breaks my heart, but it's probably time to send it out there to some of the collectors and let yeah. them enjoy it. I want him to know that I understand what these items are and that they are going to go somewhere, like these apothecary cabinets. Well, these are neat. These are really popular right now, whether they're bare metal or white with that Queen Anne style iron leg. They're great to put in a bathroom or any kind of display. It's got the manufacturer's tag. Look at that one. This was made in Detroit. Yeah, cool? Everything local we could get our hands on, we bought. This was a key lock one right here. They're very simple and they're steel, so they're overbuilt and that's what people love. You probably know these poison bottles are collectible. Oh yeah. You know, like that with that label on it. Yeah. That one. And then this one, same exact label, but different top. It's a larger top, you know, and these are always missing. Back in the day, we didn't have the convenience of really good lighting and there was a lot of illiteracy. So poison labels had to be big and obvious with the skull and crossbones. The retail on a cabinet like this is probably anywhere from 600 to Maybe 900. I'd be a player at like 400 a piece on them. Would you go 500 a piece? I'd do 500 a piece with those two bottles. With these you two? Do those, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, no. <laughs> well, okay, what are you thinking on the bottles? Well, they should be worth 100, wouldn't you think? 50 a bottle here? Why don't we do this? Why don't we do 1,050? So we'll do 500 bucks a piece on these and yeah. 50 on the bottles. All right. You want to do that? All right. All right. It's a good start. These are what's really interesting to me. Those are advertisements for walkover shoes. That was a big shoe company. In Michigan? Yeah. OK, do you remember where you got this stuff at? Because uh, this seems to be all from maybe the same place, because you got the shoes, you got the shoe display. There's four pieces here total that connect to anybody that's going to be interested in shoes and vintage clothing. No one's going to actually wear these, but people that collect menswear and women's that, clothing, that cool? all that kind of stuff. The pedestal is really what sets it apart. So I've got this piece, leather shoes. I do, uh, I do 60, 30 and 30. 75. Okay, 75. All right. 75 shoes and stand. Okay, here, these two pieces are very cool. They're plaster. Yeah. They're early. She's got a crack in her neck all the way around. See, though? I never noticed that. I never noticed that until just now, either. He looks like he's in pretty decent shape. 70 bucks. I'm thinking $100. I'd do 80 bucks. It's, it's, she's got a massive crack right there. I How about $90? 90, 90 bucks. $90. Okay, 90 bucks. And then, look at this. Blackhawk's blood and body tonic. Chief Blackhawk. Here's a man that really knows the market. He knows what people want. Blackhawk was from our area in oh, Illinois. Oh, really? Yeah. There's no fooling around with him. He, he knows what he's doing. 15 bucks. Ah, uh, come on, Mike, 25. And I know what I'm doing, so we didn't bluff each other. 20. All right. <sighs> That's a story that uh, they the printed story. in the local newspaper down there, and that's my dad sitting there. That's your dad with his cowboy hat. With his hat. cowboy hat on, he's yes. probably got his coveralls on, too. Oh, wow. So uh, the timing of this bathtub is about right for Mae West to have been able to have been mm -hmm. in it. We don't have any solid provenance. We don't. I can't prove it. All as I can say is I have no doubt that that man was telling me the truth. Without the story, it's worth 500 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. It's just that with that story, it definitely a, is story? worth more than 500 bucks. But how much is that, you know? So what would you think? I could see adding another 1,000 onto that, doing 1,500. I could see that with the local folklore, with your history with it, with your father's history with this tub, with the... So you're saying you believe that? I believe that that could very okay, well be so true. Okay, so this is your bathtub. Oh, Jerry, oh! 
It's not about the money all the time, you know. These are my children. I want them to go to a good home. <laughs> it's crazy. I know it sounds crazy, but that's what collectors do. They get a little nuts. It's like a day-to-day -day treasure hunt. I'm out there looking for rusty gold. I'm looking for the unusual and impossible. It's back roads. It's dumpster diving. It's flea markets. It's people's homes.